We're back. It's still the breakfast on uh, Plus TV Africa. Um, we have a next conversation up ready with our guest standing by. Well, the Central Bank of Nigeria is in the news again. Uh, this time, the Apex Bank has launched what it calls the Nigerian National Domestic Card Scheme, or AFRIGO. Uh, what is AFRIGO? They say it's aimed at creating a more uh, robust payment system that will drive financial inclusion in the country. Uh, launching the card virtually yesterday, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Gordon Mefile, um, who has not had the time to go answer questions of the House of Reps, well, he said that transaction charges on all cards will henceforth be paid in Naira, except for international transactions. According to him, Africa would be cheaper and would be a matter of national pride with potential to boost financial inclusion in the country. The CBN also said it will be you know, coming up with a deadline for the existing card schemes in the country, after which they will no longer be eligible for domestic transactions. Uh, now joining us this morning to look at what this development means for business transactions in Nigeria, among others, is Mukhtar uh, Mohammed. He is a developmental economist. Uh, Mukhtar, good morning to you. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Good morning. All right. Um, uh, the, the, the central bank uh, governor is saying that this AFRIGO, uh, which is domestic card, will be cheaper and that the charges will be paid in Nara. Um, when we talk about the cards we have in use today, we look at Verve, uh, MasterCard, Visa. Are these the cards he's referring to? And if yes, what has the issue been? And what's the thinking behind this domestic card scheme? Thank you so much. I, I think you said it you said it well in your introduction. The CBA is at the news again. I think in Mayfield it always comes. It's enjoying the maybe it's enjoying the media platform and so it's coming to the news because at this time at this point in time what Nigerians are interested in is how to swap the old Naira note with the hitches that have to do with the new Naira note, not coming up with uh, issues of domestic car. We've had this, uh, I mean, been on for a couple of months, but the CBN never came out to say whether it's true or, or not. But um, to your question, and uh, he says uh, we need to have domestic card, we need to face out um, domestic card. is only going to be used for domestic uh, um, um, transactions. So what happened to people that want to do international transactions? And again, I keep saying the CBN keep going out of its security um, duties or with monetary policy and begin to enter into others' area of payment plan. They are, they, according to the CBN, only to give license for people to be involved in payment platform, not for them themselves not being involved. Remember, they were in, they also came up with the, 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 the app also, and that also have not even been, a, they, they, they cannot say they have any success in that. Now they are coming to domestic, and uh, domestic account, accounts that they themselves will be the one um, handling it. I, I, I it's, it's, it's confusing. And unfortunately, they do what they normally do. They say policy. They don't come up with how this policy is going to work. Uh, we'll be hearing details about it uh, in the matters of months and days or weeks. I think um, it's, it's, it's becoming uh, embarrassing the way the CBN is going about everything that is being done by commercial banks or conventional banks. We they are the regulators and now what they want to be doing. So, I mean, uh, one is beginning to wonder, you know, why the CBN is becoming a player in a market that she's regulating, right? But, you know, moving away from that, the major concern now would be how can we purchase things, uh, you know, in Nigeria now? I mean, if we have to buy things, for instance, you're paying for software, uh, you're paying for domain, you're making subscription, for instance, maybe the Netflix and whatever you, how can people now, you know, begin to make purchases with this AFRIGO? You see, when you look at those purchases, you remember that uh, most of them have also been able to um, um, domesticate their payment system. If you talk about Netflix, or you talk about um, if you are using um, Apple product like the, um, um, the their music platform, yeah, you, you realize that those platforms have been, you can use your Naira, have your Naira um, card, maybe MasterCard, Valve card, or, or, or um, Visa card to pay for those things using the Nigerian account to the um, Nigerian card. 
Um, the only transaction that you cannot do may some, uh, for some time is when you want to buy something outside the shop of this country. Maybe you want to transact business, you want to use ATM outside these countries. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's been a problem. So for the CBN to come, I think they want to be a player. Maybe they want to say you begin to use, we only use MasterCard and VestCard when we are abroad. When we are in Nigeria, we are mandated to use their own card. And then for the CBN to go as far as naming some of the countries that are into it, like China, India, and, uh, and Turkey, Russia. I mean, when you look at those countries, you, you realize that most of them Montag, are do, countries. Do you know that the MasterCard is not allowed as a means of payment in some of these uh, you know, websites? I mean, it's difficult to pay with MasterCard. This is from, you know... Uh, a first hand experience, and I'm telling you what it is. Yes, it's so, so from, from all of this, I mean, with, with this particular policy and with the Afri, Afri Go card, with the intention, it sounds very great, but I mean, there's a limitation. It, it therefore means that you can't have a cross border transaction. Exactly, that's the same thing I'm saying. Exactly, with the MasterCard, you, you know, it's the banks that came out and said that they don't want to be in doing transaction. Again, internationally through the MasterCard, Niger Naira MasterCard or Visa MasterCard or VAT, Master, uh, VAT card. It wasn't them themselves that said, no, we don't want to do this transaction. And you and I know the reason for that is because of the shortage of trans uh, supply in terms of um, them dollars in the system. They are trying to manage what they have. And these are not policies that they happen in 20... Remember this policy, uh, they've been since like this 2015. After some time when there's improvement in supply of dollars, we normally get back to normal. But in this case, now this domestic account, the CBN have made it uh, explicit that it's going to be only for domestic um, transaction. And in a world that has become a global village, I wonder how Nigerians will be transacting businesses uh, just within local. So we only do local business. I want to do an international transaction. I will have to have another card. What do you think I'm gaining in terms of uh, yeah, payment in, in Naira? I'm losing in terms of wider coverage, especially in terms of having to pay a different card if I want to do another transaction abroad. So for me, I think um, which, 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 um, the policy is not yet clear-cut policy. Uh, I think the CBN said they will come up with it. If they have come up with a situation whereby uh, we can begin to use those cards to do a um, transaction outside the show of this country, then I believe. And remember, we have gone beyond card. That's one thing. You know, the CBN seems to drag us back. Um, 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 modern banking has gone beyond you using physical card. They are beginning to see how you can use your facial recognition, you can use your thumbprint. That's where we are going to. Not moving out with card. And at the point, it's like when others are going away of that, from that sector, and that's where the CBN is now coming to that space. So for me, I think, like you said, you cannot be a regulator and you want to be a player. You either choose to be a player or choose to be a regulator. And when he mentioned this country, what he did not say is that these domestic cards in this country are not driven by the CBN or the central banks of this country. They are driven by individual company, private sector. They are the one being, and they are, they are competing hand in hand with the other um, 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 players like uh, the MasterCard and others. So why should we not be thinking of we want to domesticate our account, we don't want other players, we want to... I, I think um, it, it, for me, I, I don't understand why the CBN is doing what they are doing. All right, Mukta, quite interesting. Um, I mean, uh, you, you, with all your experience, you still find it uh, a bit unclear. It's all a bit, um, you know, shrouded in, in some sort of confusion. I mean, I remember the e Naira. Have you used the e Naira <laughs> to buy anything before? I never did. I never did. That <laughs> Do we even know what the e Naira, Naira is. Never worked. <laughs> you see, the e Naira never worked. It was a digital <laughs> currency, and you know why they came up with the e Naira at that time? They were banning crypto, um, crypto transaction, and they are saying, "Look, we have come up with our own digital uh, uh, currency." People never be because. You are coming now with a with a with with, with, with a payment platform that my account will still be residual in the bank. So if I have challenges, who do I go to meet? Do I now begin to write a letter to CBN saying that the card holder or normally when you have those condi um, 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 issues, you walk into the bank and the bank will be able to sort out your issues with your card. And it's talking about transactional costs. What you have forgotten that now banks are even make it easier. You go there, you get it that very day, and you don't even pay. They sometimes they tend to pay 1000 And some banks are now going a bit further and saying that you can have one card for five years and you pay 1000 So it's, um, I think the CBN just seems want to be in the news 
either for the right or the wrong reason. All right. Uh, the, the, the CBN is talking about financial inclusion. Um, you know, with this uh, national domestic card scheme, Afrigo, they are talking about national pride. Um, what about that? Those sound, they, ha they sound really good to the ear. How do you do national? It sounds good, but in any international, how do you be a national pride if you are not going to be a global player? player? Nigerian banks are even beginning to look at being international card payment system. That's what they are, they are beginning to develop cards that you can use in Nigeria, you can use in Africa, you can use in any part of the world. And yet the regulator that is supposed to, to come in there and help you people expand globally is saying he wants to get you to use a domestic card. How does it add up? Hmm, hmm. What, about, what about financial inclusion, which is uh, something that uh, everyone wants to see happen in this country? You see, the CBM, when they come up with policy, they like telling us we are trying to get financial inclusion. Remember the POS, remember the money agents, remember, I mean, they've come up with all sorts. So how much are they achieving those uh, uh, policy with inclusions? So there will be, if you have, in, if, if you have um, uh, achieved some uh, considerable results, that's what we'll begin to consider you to be a part of your, I can assure you that 90% of Nigerians we reject this card because they, they, the way they rejected the e-Naira. I can assure you because you, you are not, I'm not going to go, I, I, like I said, I don't have a challenge with my card. Who will I go to meet? I'll still go to meet same bank. My well, account will still be resident in the bank. The CBN is not giving me a, a, a banking platform. So I remember that you are not even looking at the charges the bank will collect for you for using their platform to do the, tax, the card transaction. It cannot be for free. Well, some people are saying that this particular scheme is bad for the, uh, those who are in the banking business. I mean, talking about the banking sector, that's on the one hand. But on the other hand, uh, do you think it would have been just, you know, fantastic for the CBN or some sort of support for local fintech companies rather than this policy? Exactly. Exactly. Like I said, the banks are beginning to look at international, to become an international payment system, payment uh, platform. That's what all the banks are looking at. I mean, especially the tier one banks. They have been expanding all over Africa. And some of them are even becoming global players. And they are looking at how they can develop a payment platform that if I'm in the UK, I can use. If I'm in the US, I can use. If I'm in Ghana, I can use. They are look, we are looking at one old system. The world has become a global business, a, a global village. Everybody is looking for easy means. How should I be carrying two cards? If I want to do a domestic, I mean, a dollar transaction account, I have to have a dollar domination card. I think the only way the CBN would have made this to be a game changer is to tell Nigerians that, we now have a card that you can use in any part of the world. You don't have to begin to go to the Bureau de Change or come to us to do an exchange platform. If you want to travel, all you need is to get this, um, this our card and then load your Naira there. We give you the official CBN exchange rate. When you get abroad, you can do every purchase. I tell you that is the only game changer. And that will not only address the issue of FX shortage, it will now address the issue of unification of the FX rate. But what the CBN is doing now is telling us we must stay domestically, we must be domestic, domestic brand, and why the banks that you are regulating are thinking of becoming a global player. But, but, but Mukta, you, you, you've said it, you know, that um, you know, there the are case studies in countries like India. Um, uh, we have a situation on our hands. You've talked about this a number of times on this program, which is we have, you know, uh, a forex shortage, acute forex shortage, because of um, you know the 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 effects of of of, of the global um, situation on the crude oil um, 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 market, we have forex shortage because of you know the reduction in production you know of, of crude oil and sales from Nigeria, and of course we have a lot of debt to pay. We are also um, subsidizing. We're paying for the one we are bringing in to give to people for free or next and almost free. And a lot of factors that, you know, you, the economists, will, will put forward as being reason for what we're facing right now. The Nara is struggling, seriously. Um, what can the CBN do to address this? Why should we have, in a country as big as Nigeria, these guys, um, the MasterCards, the, the visas of this world, come into a country and then we have transactions by Nigerians and they are charging us or placing charges on those transactions in USDs. Isn't it the place of the central bank to say, we want to protect the Nigerian economy? 
we're not going to allow Nigerians pay the charges for transactions in our country in USD. And we protect the, the economy. Yeah. We, we, we need to be um, educated. Um, when, you, when, you, when you do a transaction with the Naira or the MasterCard within Nigerian space, you pay the local currency. But when you do transaction outside the shore of this country, or you want to, um, you pay the dollar rate in terms of those transactions. And then let's come back. Now, as it stands now, you cannot even use the MasterCard, Naira, MasterCard, or VAT, uh, Visa MasterCard, or even VAT MasterCard outside the shore of this country that is Naira denominated. You need to get a dollar denoted. Even when you want to go to get um, uh, FX, maybe you are uh, uh, PT, basic travel allowance. They now, the banks are now giving you their own card. Their banks are even beginning to give cards that are domiciled in dollars that you can use outside the shore of this country. To, they no more give you the cash. Some banks no more give you the card. They have their own dollar card that you, they will give you that this, how they, this way they are going to load that um, uh, 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 FS into. And when you get abroad, you can use it for, for purchase or whatever you want to do. So what we are saying in essence is that uh, the only places that you see such of this transaction being done, and the CBN have turned a blind eye. If you are in Nigeria, you are going to apply for a UK visa. You are asked to pay in pounds or dollars in a certain account that will be made. CBN is not protecting the Nigerians in this. So, 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 so the uh, only way is yeah. that some places you, you some initially you remember there was a time that houses in Ikoi and Banana Island they say you have to pay rent in dollars. And I remember the then CBN governor Lamido Sanisi Lamido came and said you cannot do a transaction in Nigeria by paying dollars. Remember some airline why we have the problem with Emirates and Emirates came up and said that Nigeria should start paying. Their, for their air ticket in dollars. And the CBN, the, gov, the, the, the federal government came out and said, in Nigeria, the official legal tender is the Naira. And any airline that collects dollar will be banned. And that, so what are we doing to protect Nigerians? It's, it, it boils down to lack of creativity. Because what Nigerian businesses are looking for now are means that CBN should be looking to build businesses that will be attracting effects into the economy. Okay, Mukta, just the a quick a quick one. A quick one. You've talked about the difficulties, and truly, I think we're all a witness to it and beneficiaries, you want to call it that. The banks themselves have even stopped, you know, most of their cards or, or categories of customers from even transacting or paying in dollars. I mean, today, if your card expires for well, even the major banks, uh, the, what do we call them again? Uh, the, well, I can't remember the, the, the acronym. The bank. <laughs> yes, the acronym. There's an acronym for them. But, you know, if you go to get a new card, you will not, you, you can't use it to pay for maybe your YouTube, for instance, YouTube uh, uh, payments. Um, this year, on Thursday, January 5, this year, has any bank informed its customers that it would be suspending international ATM withdrawals? So we all know some of these challenges we've been facing. But um, the banks and even Nigerians have found a way around it with um, uh, startups who have come up to, to, with services uh, enabling you have virtual, for instance, MasterCard, you know, and all that. In another country, you can hold that virtual card in Nigeria and then you can pay uh, for your transactions wherever they are in the world. Um, for instance, there's a startup, I uh, wouldn't call the name now, but they, they allow you to make purchases or with a virtual dollar card uh, of up to $25,000 dollars monthly. Some of them have been advertising all over the place you know, on the streets and on the internet. And um, we have cryptocurrency uh, or cryptocurrencies which are being used like Bitcoin, Ethereum and Co, which Nigerians uh, can also use to make transactions. Um, do you think that there'll be a problem? You know, if you want to use the Changera, you want to use Payday cheaper, even a bank in Nigeria has a lot. It's one of those services as well. Do you think that we have a problem? You know, I mean, we can just simply go patronize these guys. Um, or do you think that this CBN stance now will affect even these startups who are offering these services remember you just said that the startups are not offering those services and that's what i said the startups are not offering those services for domestic transaction they are looking at the international market 
that is where they are looking at this is the challenges that we are having in nigeria we don't have problem in domestic payments we have problem with international transaction so that is what the cbn should be addressing not that the cbn should be addressing domestic payment how many people in the rural area will want to carry those cards we are giving them the uh, we are giving them the pos terminal how many of them they still rather go to the ps terminal collect cash and go to their market and do their transaction in cash the challenge Nigerian economy is facing now is in the area of doing international business. And knowing that a lot of Nigerian companies, SMEs especially, do uh, uh, import a lot of their product outside the shore of this country. So what platform are you providing for them to make ease of doing business and attract these efforts into our economy? That is where I think the C what that's what I think the CBN should be looking at. Not coming out. We don't have problem with domestic payment. Even the domestic payment, we have not even been able to even, uh, I, I mean, uh, um, do it excellently because sometimes you do those transactions. Your your money is hanging. Money so, is so not help, help you understand this. Why, why is he therefore saying that we will no longer pay in dollars for using those cards or the charges on those cards? Just help me understand that, please. Thing I don't understand as you you don't understand because I'm it's, waiting for him to come up because <laughs> I know that I only pay for dollar if I have a dollar domicile. I have never done a naira transaction. The only time we used to do that is when you have the naira dominated card at that time that you were able to use it to pay. I think you use it one thousand um, dollars a month, and that is if you have um, the, by the official exchange rate when you go with your naira card any part of the world you can do but you can only do one thousand dollars then later on it was reduced to 500 at the point it was reduced to 100 at the point it was even reduced to 20 until finally there was a total ban so and those were only transactions they will charge you based if you want to use the atm so now even if you have your dollar domiciliar um, card if you go abroad if you are using payment platform you are not withdrawing you are not charging anything right. you just go there and you pay right. so i don't understand like you right. i don't understand maybe 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 in the coming days um after the central bank governor is done uh facing the house of representatives and family Raja Bermuda, hopefully he won't be arrested um he we might get some more information on this. i can assure you that he will not be there <laughs> well let's see i was mukta mohammed thank you very much for your time a pleasure all right, Mukhtar Mohammed is a developmental economist, I guess, in the first uh, discussion this morning. Well, we take a break. When we return, we'll be talking sports. I mean, a lot on the table. Just stay with us.